Hey everyone, it's Ladan. In this video, I'm going to be doing a really simple, quick, smoky eye. The reason I'm doing it is because, as you can see, my hair is in a bun. There's a video coming up to explain why my hair isn't in a bun. I'll probably upload it tomorrow, um, along with the product review. Uh, this story did not end well, but you'll you'll hear about it soon. In any event, um, just prepper, uh, uh, prepping for New Year's Eve, I wanted to do a couple of different makeup styles to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with my makeup. So I thought I would do a really quick smoky eye and kind of record how I how I do it in case someone was interested. Okay, so I'm going to do the smoky eye using one of my favorite palettes. Um, and I'm going to be using the gray color palette right along the side here. So I'm going to be using these. Um, I call it like gunmetal, a gunmetal kind of smoky eye because of the colors I use. Um, but you can judge for yourself. All right. So I'm going to be using this silver color because um, I want something that is a little bit more sparkly on my lid and this particular silver has uh, a shimmer to it. Really pretty. I am not using a primer. Um, to get my colors to kind of show up. Certainly use a primer if you want it to, and I'll probably use one tomorrow night. But I was saying, I'm not using a primer, but this color is like super vibrant. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the lighting, but it's very, very vibrant. Um, and all I did was dip my brush in a bit of water before putting the color on it. And that always gives me a nice bump in color when I do that. So now I'm going to apply my darker color. I've applied it a little bit, but um, this is the brush I'm using. And I just dip the tip in um, a bit of water just to make the color a little more intense because I'm going for drama. <laughs> so now I'm going to wait just a minute and then I'm going to start buffing. This is like a super old brush I bought. I don't even know how long ago. But I like to use this to buff and blend my colors out. Actually, before I use that, I want to create a nice um, transition color just above that. I'm going to use this product by Revlon. It's Revlon Color Stay. and it's called Sterling Rose. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my liquid highlighter and I'm going to just push it up. I just started using gel liner uh, this year and I have to tell you that I absolutely love it. 
Um, some people have a really difficult time using it or <coughs> excuse me, figuring out how to use it. Um, I think if you have used a liquid liner that it's pretty easy to use. Um, I use it, my daughter has used it, and we have both used liquid liner before, you know, where you have to really be precise in drawing it on, and maybe that's what's throwing people off, but with this, I really, I mean, to me, it's more error proof than, um, to me, it's more error proof than using uh, liquid liner. I actually, I don't like using liquid liner. It used to be all I used. Um, but, you know, I don't like it that much anymore. <laughs> I haven't used it in years. But this, to me, is very similar to it because when you use a pencil, when I use a pencil at least, I can really just draw it on. But I use this in pretty much the same capacity as how I use um, the liquid liner in that I don't just draw it on. I actually take small sections and with this I pat it on. So it's almost like connecting the dots in a way. And I find that that works super, you know, great. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this pink. I think you see a little better when I step back. Yeah. But this, um, this pink is VI pink, um, and it's uh, Fergie Wet n Wild color. And, um, I feel like I need a little something. I don't know what. Um, I, know what I, do. I just want to contour this a little bit more. And that was, yeah. I like because I feel like the lipstick is. All right, so this is the finished look. I absolutely love this. I love this. So I actually think this is, I probably won't even try anything else. I kind of want to try a purple though. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take some high def pictures of this so that you guys can see what it looks like. you know, with the colors a little bit more vibrant. But this is, I would say this is pretty much the look. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. It's my first really kind of makeup, you know, you know, full makeup thing. I'm done looking. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will talk with you soon, bye.